Oops. Good morning. My morning starts with the on to go breakfast, cooking, and and traveling through the building site. I just cleaned my shoes, but since I'll be walking through the building site, they're going to be dusty again. But that's not a big deal. Let's go. You park your car for only one day and it gets dusty again. There is no use washing it at all. It is dusty and there may have been Martin here. Uh, no, this night it did not come. Eight cylinders are ready for the fight. Well, 166 kilometers to go. A bit more than half tank of diesel. But that's enough. Let's go. Where are we going today? Today we're going to Straubing to take away a V-Class Mercedes which we did not inspect and which our client has bought. So we have several things to discuss today. First we'll go to see what he bought. We'll take it away because we paid for it. And we're going to talk about the most interesting thing the air of this world, the money. Let's go! Let's speak about the money today. As I've just told you, we have taken away the car, I'll show it to you a bit later. We have two keys, a new key trinket, I will not put it on, let him decide. I'll put it back. Let us think together how we can pay for the car in Germany. Which options do we have? We have cash and we have a bank card. How can we pay for the car? Think of it. Cash. Not every car dealer accepts cash in Germany, as in this case the guy came to buy a car, but the car dealer would not sell him the car because the buyer has only cash. They don't take cash maximum 5,000 euros, so cash won't go. A card. You come with the cards and say I've got 100 grand euros and I, I want to buy a card. Dealers usually would not accept bank cards. There was only one case in seven years when people could pay with a card. I think it was by mistake of a girl who was working at the reception desk. She just took it at, at all. The interest is great. That is why dealers do not accept bank cards. No way. They immediately refused to do it. Cash is impossible. Card is impossible. What is to be done? To make a swift money transfer, as people usually do these days. But there is an option to pay for the car through us, as our client did. He visited several car dealers, inspected one Mercedes, then another one, and he chose the second one and said, I'm buying it. But the dealer told him no, 5,000 euros maximum, so he called us and asked, what shall I do? I told him, okay, we can help you, bring your cash and we put it onto the bank account as we have done many times so the clients watching us now can prove it. It is just necessary to gather the right documents to avoid further problems. We have done it all, accepted cash, brought it to the bank, transferred it according to the contract which was made to my name and I then made a contract to my client's name. My task today is to take away the car and pass it over to my client tomorrow. Which we are doing and now we are going... No, no, no. Uh, now we'll finish our delicious coffee and we'll go to inspect the Mercedes V-Class AMG white with black interior. Let's now check the paint, surface, coating and scratches on the car to avoid any surprises as we pass it over to our client. The wheels are good, the doors are intact. There is a dent there. Here it is. It is not visible, 
But it's there. Yeah, right. 96, 106, 117, 100. By the way, it is very hard to find a decent V-Class undamaged, not painted in good condition. They're, look, they painted a bit. Uh, it's a problem here. If you look closer, it's there. But the paint is original. Now the front wing bar. No, no, no. 9.6. By the way, the paint is thin. 110, 90 all the time. No panoramic view roof, thank God. We have taken away the documents. One owner, Daimler AG. It's in carbon. Cool. Carbon Bang and Olufsen electric seats. 360 camera, Distronic. Very good. The doors are locked with the buttons inside. Pedal shifter, AMG. Well, lane assistant, fire extinguisher. But look here, 24,000 and the seats. The car was a demonstration car. It was, it was demonstrated in the saloon. The seats here, I think, did 7,000 kilometers, but maybe some big guy dropped this car. But it is clean, it was not repainted, no scratches. Okay, look, here there is a scratch. Um, I come and the client well, can tell me, why did you do a scratch here? Nein, nein, nein. Das war ich nicht. We have brought the car, we now have to get a new red book. We need to take Zafira to be prepared. Uh, this one is standing and waiting for its client who is coming tomorrow. That's it. Here is, it's clean. Well, open up. Let's put it here. Do you see it? Aluminum wheels. Really, aluminum wheels. I thought they were iron. Cool. Um, here, it was cleaned, washed. There is one scratch which I found. Um, and the and the seat. Well, it's not a problem, I think. The car is perfect. It's not damaged. The car dealer did not lie, by the way. But I assure you guys, if you're looking for a V-Class in Germany, it is very hard to find, because the cars may be absolutely exhausted, even with a millage of 20,000 or 30,000 kilometers. This car is really good. The client personally came and chose it, traveled in Germany, and got himself this car. We helped him. We bought it. Okay, let's supply a sticker. Do you guess, guys, why I apply stickers on the gloss all the time? I don't like when the stuff remains on the metal coating, because when you remove it, you may scratch the paint. If people don't like it, then they just remove it from the gloss without any problems. The gloss is easier to wash than the paint. Here, there will be no signs left if you don't scratch it with a knife. That's it. Ready? Guys, visit our channel. I do hope the information was useful for you. How you can buy cars in Germany, in particular the ways to pay for it, with cash, by bank cards or money transfer. See you soon. Wish you all the best. You Bye. Me. Everything that we've been through has made us strong. You won't believe we've had our grave. But sorry, there's a light inside of us. Chose the way, not looking for no, no, no.